Yeah, so we talked about how these guys actually can live up to a century. And what's really bad if, you're try if you take one of these guys from the wild and you accidentally take the only female in that area, you may crash the whole population. Um, so poaching and collection for the pet trade is a really, really huge issue for these guys. And another thing, of course, are road mortalities. Um, I'm sure we've all seen them in the road. Uh, what you want to do is if you can safely stop and pull over, do so, okay, and get out. And when you see what direction they're going in, move them gently. I kind of say, you want to hold them like a really special cheeseburger that you don't want to drop, okay? And we want to move them in the same direction that they're headed. And um, you don't want to turn them around and put them back on the other side of the road because they know where they're going. They have a reason to go somewhere just like we do. Um, and so you don't want to put them back on the other side because then they'll just try to go back um, again and cross the road again. Um, and another really important thing, some people are inclined to kind of pick these guys up because they're, they are pretty much harmless. They can't really do anything to you. Um, to pick them up and take them somewhere else that they think is better. And that is also a really bad thing to do. I know that people, you know, do it in the best interest, but I liken it to kind of being picked up and moved to somewhere like New York City and just dumped out. And yeah, it'd be great to live in New York City. They've got theater and restaurants and all kinds of great stuff. But if you don't have a home there already, you know, if you don't know where everything is, if you're not prepared to live in New York City, uh, it, can, it can be kind of a problem. So um, you don't want to take these guys out of a home that they already have because um, they do have a magnetic sense of direction and they will just try to get back to where they were from. And the other thing is you could be moving diseases from one population into another by actually relocating those guys. So don't, don't make pets out of them. They're not pets. Please don't ride on them and please don't move them. Um, they're, they're where they're supposed to be already. Um, so when we want to see these guys a hundred years from now, you know, we want our grandkids to be able to see these guys in the woods and enjoy them. So that's why I like to talk about the Eastern Box Turtle.